I've been a Node developer for a number of years, and now we have Bun. Bun is coming after Node. It's supposed to be faster. It's supposed to be more terse, as I'll show you in a second here. I've already had a peek at the code. And when I tried out Bun in a video just recently, when it serves React, it just instantly updates. The watch process on that, whatever is running behind the scenes is incredibly fast. It, it seems to be a promising tool. Here's bun.sh, their website. It shows you how to install it really easy. All you do is run the script and bun is installed. There's my terminal. I run bun version and there we go. I also have node here and we're going to compare them right now. Bun is promising to have TypeScript compilation included and 90% or about 90% of node API functions are available. Pretty cool. So it's supposed to run your TypeScript, your JavaScript all inside there. How much faster is it really? Well, this kind of gives you an idea right here, but I want to do the test myself. So I'm going to set up a couple of projects here. Let's create a new directory for bun. I'm going to create a new bun app, but I'm not going to use any kind of scaffolding. I'm just going to take folder and create an index JavaScript file as simple as possible. We're not using any frameworks. This is just going to be pure node versus pure bun bun app. Okay. And then I'm going to create a new directory called node app. And we're going to pop open each one of these. You know what? I'll just open this whole folder up in code. All right. So our bun app is going to go in here and our node app is going to go in there. Index.js and index.js. There we go. Now there is an example down here right on their homepage of bun. Ah, here we go. Look, look at this. <laughs> it's so terse. I'm just going to paste that in and it's going to run on port 3000. Wow. So let's go into the bun app directory here. And what's the command bun run and then my JavaScript file bun run index. Boom. I guess it's running. I didn't print anything. So let's go to the browser and check it out. Localhost 3000. It's running folks. There it is. Now, what if we wanted to do the same thing in node? Well, I pulled up the docs here and here is an example of what you have to do in node. Not as terse, but still possible. <laughs> let's do node right here. I suppose I don't really need all this stuff, but that's okay. Let's change this message to welcome to node. And we can't listen on port 3000. That one's bun. So let's do 3001. Okay, let's pop open a new terminal and back up to node app. And here I'm going to do node index.js and servers running on that port. Here's our node app it says welcome to node. Welcome to bun. Welcome to node. By the way, localhost is the same thing as 127.0.0.1. Now, how are we going to test this? We got both apps running a very simple HTTP GET request. And now we want to ping each one of those and see how many responses we can get back in a certain number of seconds. We're going to use something called auto cannon. It's like an automatic cannon that fires boom, 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 really fast. And it's a pretty up to date project. I like this project. I've used this before. It's got a cool logo and it's based on WRK and WRK2. And it's really easy to use. I don't think I have it installed on this machine. So I'm going to install it. I'm just going to use NPM to install it globally. So open a new terminal here and NPM install auto cannon. So now I can run auto cannon version. And there it is. Now in order to fire at one of these servers with the Canon, all I got to do is just say auto cannon, some options, and then URL. You can change the options if you want, but we don't need any of that. Today, we're just going to be firing away at the default location. So auto cannon, and the URL is localhost port 3000. This is our bun app. And in another terminal, I'm going to do auto cannon HTTP localhost port 3001. So Boom, let's fire away. I'm going to do these one at a time. Sorry, Schwarzenegger, you don't have a job today. You know what? I'll let you press the one for bun. So we've got <laughs> an 11 second time span and we have 774,000 requests. That's a lot of requests. We've got some other stats, latency, max of six milliseconds uh, request per second. We've got the average here. So an average of about 70 requests per second. And then we got bytes per second ranging from uh, 10.6 to uh, well, 12. Anyway, you've got the chart over there. Now let's check out Bun to see if it delivers what it promises. Auto Cannon, port 3000 and Schwarzenegger, come on. It's your time to shine. This is the Schwarzenegger folks. This is the current version. An update is in progress.
Stay tuned. I'll be back. I know it doesn't. Nah, whatever. Okay, let's go. All right, it's running. And look at that. Look at that, folks. Wow. We're almost two times faster with Bun. In other words, here we've got 1.3 million requests in 11 seconds. The average latency seems to be 0.01 milliseconds on both of them, so I'm not sure how there's so many more requests that can be served. So the request per second average is uh, 122,000 compared to nodes 70,000. So a lot more requests per second average. The bytes per second is less, which is interesting. The average bytes per second is only 11.5 five compared to 11.6 from node obviously this is just a hello world immediately returns but so far it's showing to be a lot faster i also want to do maybe some typescript compilations uh, and see how that does let me know in the comments if there's any other bun related tests you want to see and if you have any suggestions they're always welcome we'll see what the future holds for bun if this was useful to you thumbs up would be really appreciated thanks a lot folks and i'll see you in the next one